Sul Sul, we now Fredje was sim. So when last we left off, Samuel finished improving his relationship with Yvette, and they are now both very good friends. But what will he be doing now? It is a mystery that will likely be solved as soon as we start controlling him next time, but at the moment it's a mystery! Meanwhile, on the other side of the road, Dave and Yvette are still taking care of Jim, their son, and I've learned something quite interesting about taking care of babies in The Sims. You don't need to play with them. Playing with them is an entirely optional interaction. It doesn't stop them from crying, but on a similar note, it doesn't make them cry if they aren't crying. Which means that whenever Jim starts crying, all we need to queue up is the actions to feed Jim, and then try and sing Jim to sleep, and one of these interactions will work. I'll probably be doing it in that order, because if it is feeding, then Jim won't need to be sung to sleep. We're now going to have a look at the lives of Dave and Yvette, and of course Dog, zooming in on their world and removing the roof, because we can't see what they're doing if we have the roof there. I mean, you can have the roof there, but you can't see anything. It's like, what is going on? And you just try and peer through the windows ineffectually. Let's get rid of that roof, shall we? And let time resume! Yvette is going to be going to work very soon, because uh, she needs to go to work, as Dave went yesterday. Unfortunately, her needs are currently dreadful. Fun is low, social is low, and energy is also low. Dave, on the other hand, is having a fantastic rest, and all of his needs can be easily taken care of when he gets up. Of course, he'll also have to take care of Jim today, so he might not get much opportunity to take care of those needs. Dog is asleep, and if Dog was awake, he'd be able to help Yvette with uh, social, but she doesn't actually have time to uh, deal with that. I think a shower is pretty much all she's going to have time to do. I just hope that her mood is going to be good enough that she doesn't get demoted, because we'd need a lot of family friends again, and that would be a lot of going to downtown. Alright, it's time for you to go to work, and earn some money. And it's time for you, Dave, to get up and see the day, and have some breakfast. I know, I know, it's not yet the time you wanted to get up. That would have been in about an hour and a half. But you need to go and do what you need to do, quickly before Jim wakes up and starts crying. Jim is fine at the moment, but he's waiting for the perfect time to start bawling and crying. Alright, I know you're going to complain, because it's a little too early. He has a window that he looks out of every time he gets out of uh, bed from that side. And there is nothing that he sees. There are no trees, there's no plants, there's nothing. Just grass and emptiness. And Dog is awake too. Is Jim crying? No? Excellent. Time to do dog things. You don't need to prepare any food this time, though, because Yvette has prepared food already. You're probably going to have to get rid of that, though, because, uh, we could leave it there, but there's no guarantee that it will actually have gone bad by the time the maid turns up. And you don't want to have to take care of it yourself later when you're busy taking care of... Speak of Jim! We need to go and take care of Jim. Finish your food, and then you're going to have to try and feed Jim. We have quite a while to uh, take care of Jim. A big period of time with which to do so. So let's go and take care of Jim, shall we? And Dog has urinated there. A third puddle of urine there. Okay, once that action has been taken care of, Dave, you'll just go over to Jim immediately. And hopefully feeding Jim will be sufficient. You're gonna have to ignore that plate after all. We'll take care of that later. Alright, tend to your son, Dave. See what he needs. Hopefully he just needs being fed, but I imagine he may also need to be sung to sleep. Alright, do you need food? I hope you only need food. There you go, the finest milk. I have no idea where I got it from. Apparently I have a bottle of milk in my pocket. Just like conjuring the magical milk. Just like, here is some milk. It is great. I don't actually know if it's great, but you seem to like it. Maybe this action's actually going to work. Maybe this action's going to work and uh, Jim will just go straight back to sleep. That'll be handy because Dave really needs to use the toilet right now. A dog is just walking around being dog, and being very happy of that fact. Is this the only action we need to do? Let's fast forward time a tiny bit and see if that's the case. That 
baby sure can drink a lot of milk. And was that all we needed to do? The answer is... No, no it wasn't. Time for you to sing, and then use that, and that, and then watch some Yeti Man. This will certainly work. Please, please don't cry. I've got to ignore the carpool, but admittedly if you kept crying that would be a perfect excuse, but I don't need an excuse. I will just ignore the carpool anyway, because I don't want to go to work today. Mainly because I have to take care of you, but in reality, if they would just pay me not to go to work, I totally wouldn't go. And hopefully this is going to work. And then I find out that I'm wrong, and you do need to sometimes play with the baby to make the baby go to sleep. Will this work? Will it work in time for Dave to deal with his bladder? I think it will work in time. Let's just hope, shall we? And Jim is fast asleep. Marvellous! Time for you to deal with that need, then that one, and then that one. And then for you to ignore work. And hopefully I got the order of who's going to work right, because if I didn't, you're about to lose your job. Although that wouldn't be the worst thing, we could get you a different kind of job. One that a whole expansion is devoted to. Alright, time for your shower, and time for us to ignore that carpool. Let's just get rid of that interaction. And watch as hygiene rockets up! Are you going to? Yep, you're going to chase away the paper girl! Run, dog, run! Give chase! And then she runs off screaming, like always. Dog's not that scary! Dog just wants to say hello! Oh, never mind. You'll never say hello to dog at that rate. And you're not going to go and wash your hands? Samuel would've, but you are not Samuel. Instead, you're going to sit down and use that time you would have been washing your hands to watch even more Yeti Man. And a great day was had. Just ignore that car, you don't need to go. You'll be fine. And hey, if you do lose your job, you can take care of Jim every single day. I doubt you're looking forward to that. Unlike if you miss one day at work, if you miss a second day of work in a row, it doesn't matter if you answer the phone or not. You are informed that you've lost your job. And I think that's enough fun. Or can we get even more fun? Let's just, actually, let's answer that. Why not? We're here after all. It could be money, but it's more than likely not money. And then we'll have an interaction with Dog, I think. Aha! You've missed work today. It is indeed okay to miss one day. And then go to work and then miss another day. They don't mention that. Maybe they don't want you to know. I think it's time for you to interact with Dog. You haven't interacted with him today after all. You need to keep that relationship at 100. Who's an awesome dog? You're an awesome dog! You're the most awesome dog that there is. That's right, dog. You. And we're just going to ignore that interaction, and I think we'll uh, play fetch, and then give dog a hug. We're brilliant at playing fetch after all, and our social is skyrocketing. And so is dogs. Marvellous. Let's go and play fetch, shall we? Do you remember this game? I'm sure you do! Remember that ball? Remember it, and go get it! Will you go get it? Dog? Aha! Dog is learning! Excellent! And Dog's like, I figured out how this game works! Don't worry, I'll forget next time. And that was one awesome interaction. I think we'll have one more, and then we'll turn off that television. You need to start doing other things, like for instance, uh, getting more beeswax. Why don't we just do that, eh? Get more of it, so then we can sell that and, uh, get more ingredients. You are an awesome dog indeed, but, uh, with this day being a free day, might as well go and work on some of his skills. Like his cooking. Harvest some more beeswax and honey, eh? You could even sell the honey at some point, or use it for something else. Alright. Get rid of that, and also, uh, unfortunately, because that's now gone off while the maid is still here, we can have the maid take care of that while you take care of improving your cooking. Marvellous. Time to harvest even more things. What would this make your cooking? It'll make it uh, quite good, actually. Level 6 when you eventually get there. 
The other advantage of being here is that uh, we can see Jim, which means that if Jim starts crying, we can immediately tend to Jim. Brilliant. Time to advance time, I think. There we are. We'll just see him do all of this and then add things to his inventory one after another. There is Dog. What is Dog up to? You're going to urinate, aren't you? Yes, indeed, you are. Because where else would you urinate? Except there. Oh, Dog, never stop being you. Grabbing that, and then harvesting more, because we can never harvest enough beeswax. We need a lot of beeswax. We have six, and uh, a lot of honey as well. Where is he storing all of this? We may never know what secret compartment in his trousers he's storing all of this in. And it's best not to think about what extra-dimensional spaces being a magician provides you with. And then, he opened up his wallet. The outfit may not be the most stylish, but Dave's understanding of honey certainly is. He received one super sticky cooking skill point. Excellent! He now has cooking level 6. And unfortunately, we need to stop doing this in a little bit, because Jim has started crying again. Just work on it a little bit more. And once you've grabbed all of the ingredients that you've uh, harvested, you can then tend to your son. I'm sure Jim will be fine. There we go. And you'll step away from this now. There we are. You're going to grab that item there, and that item there, and then you will feed Jim. Don't worry, Jim! Your father is on the way! He's just grabbing things and putting them in his extra-dimensional pocket. And now he has grabbed them, it is time to tend to your needs. Your needs that are many, and actually only two. Hello, Jim. Do you need food? I'm sure you need food. I only need one meal every day. And Yvette has come home, and oh my, her mood is very bad. I think it's time for you to uh, interact with um, Dog there, and cancel that. Hello, Dog! Would you like to come over and uh, interact with Yvette? I think you're going to need a number of interactions here. Let's have uh, that interaction there, and that one, and that one. And I think all of them have just stopped. Yep, that is because uh, Dog is going to sleep, which is unfortunate. Let's just actually interact with Cher there. And you're still feeding Jim. Jim, the baby with the bottomless stomach that can have an unlimited supply of milk. We'll just, uh, is there an interaction going on there? Cher is currently chasing its tail, so we're gonna have to wait for that interaction to finish first. And once that interaction is finished, we can have some social interactions with this dog. And that will improve, uh, social. And, yep, Cher is fine with being petted. Which is good, because we need a few more interactions to happen. And is Jim... Nope, Jim needs to be sung to. No surprises there. You just take care of that. And that has helped with social, which is good. And it also helps with uh, getting to know this dog a little bit better. Only a little bit better, mind you. Okay, that's... Uh, I think we'll need one more interaction, and then that will be good. You're going to need to watch some television as a matter of urgency afterwards. Mainly because that fun is critically low. Will you please stop crying? Your mother has just come home, and she wants to watch Yeti Man. That's actually quite a good idea. But I can't go watch Yeti Man because I'm very tired as well. And I need to harvest more ingredients to sell at really poor rates in Magic Town. There are more effective ways to uh, get magic coins, but unfortunately Dave does not have the creativity or logic to really use them effectively. And now, Jim is asleep. And you are apparently going to, um, you know what, we'll actually get rid of that interaction. You should go and just watch some television. You really need to improve that fun stat. And you need to improve your harvesting uh, beeswax and honey stat. It's not here on these needs, but trust me, it's there. We need to think about where we're going to uh, add another room. This is going to be a little bit complicated because this uh, house isn't that easy to add on to. I mean, we could put something above all of the uh, rooms here. We could just put a room upstairs. That actually might not be a bad idea, putting a room here and then a ladder outside or a stairway. Just a ladder, just a sheer ladder against the wall. It's like, yep, if you want to get uh, 
up to your bedroom, just climb this ladder every single time. And now you are awake, dog. Or are you? Nope, you appear uh, not to be- Nope, now you are awake. I thought for a moment it's like, he's just sat up, and he's still gaining energy. How does that work? Okay, meanwhile, uh, Dave, I think you need to stop doing that. It does cost you quite a bit of energy. And you can deal with, I don't know, this here. And then you can watch some television with your wife. That sounds like a good idea. Some interaction between the two of you to make sure that that relationship doesn't deteriorate beyond the exceptionally high levels that it's currently at. And Dog's relationship with Dave is fantastic. I actually think it's a little bit better than Dave's relationship with his wife. Doesn't surprise me, he has known Dog for longer. Time for you to watch some things. We could name drop. What is name drop? I've no idea what that does. At the very least, it will improve their social. Yep, they're going to talk about parties, the one thing that they can always talk about. And television was watched, and fun was had. It's like, hey, you know that party that we hosted? Wasn't it dreadful? Yes, it was rather dreadful. No, no, it was really dreadful. Like, the worst thing we've ever hosted. Are you quite sure about that? Remember that pizza party that you tried to host? Oh yeah, I kind of forgot about that. And look at that fun and social, going up in tandem. Although, I think it's time for you to go to bed, because, uh, that energy is really low. That energy is even lower. Time for you to turn that off and go to bed, I think. And he's going to complain, is he? No, he's not going to complain. He is, however, going to try and watch television, even though that's not possible. Sometimes when you just turn off the television, they go, Ah, oh, I was watching that! And then they complain. But the complaining really doesn't have any impact. Alright, you really need to go and get some sleep now. You need to get as much sleep as you possibly can, because, eventually, Jim will wake up. And when Jim does wake up, you're both going to uh, get up regardless of what hour it is. And I'd rather your energy be at least vaguely decent when that happens. Is it going to be in a few hours? Is it going to be right now? It's going to be right now. Who's going to take care of this? The answer is that Yvette is going to take care of this because it is her turn not to go to work. So you're going to feed um, Jim there and you're going to sing with Jim in a little bit. You need to do something with this time, I think. You know what you're going to do? You're just going to have a shower. Why not? Why not use this time productively? Because you're not going to be going to sleep until Jim is asleep again. And making the bed seems a little bit pointless because you're going to be going back into it soon enough. Alright, uh, time for you to have that, uh, have that shower. Excellent. And you don't need to make the other side of the bed as well. That really is pointless, because Dave will be going back to sleep eventually. But at least the bed is now spotless. Alright, your son requires your attention. Mainly because, uh, we don't actually know. He might just need feeding, he might need singing too. We'll figure it out. And his hygiene is now at maximum. And he is really hungry. We could have him have a, uh, small snack. It can't hurt, actually. Go and have a quick dinner in the dead of night. It is nearly midnight, but that's not going to stop you having a delicious meal. Oh no, it might actually save you some time tomorrow. And he looks in the fridge and goes, hmm, it's the same stuff we've always had in here. I'll grab the same meal that I always have when I do this. There is no variety in my diet, at all. However, it is going to be delicious. And Dave is having food, just as Jim is having food. The only difference is, is that Dave's is not in liquid form, and is probably tastier. Actually, I don't know, that doesn't look much tastier than milk. Alright, you just eat heartily, and Jim will also eat heartily. Maybe Jim will have an appetite like Dave does. Who knows, eh? Are you going to stay asleep? No, no you are not. It is time to sing to Jim. And then you need to go and get some sleep. And you'll also need to get some sleep after this. In fact, you could go and get some sleep immediately after you've finished eating. Because this will um, not keep uh, you awake while Yvette is singing to Jim. And hopefully Jim will not be crying after this. 
Hopefully, anyway. And when we come back, folks, they'll continue to take care of their son. And who knows, maybe he'll no longer be a baby next time, and will become a child. And once they become a child, school will begin. And school is definitely not like work in almost every respect. It's like work in almost every respect. And so, I'll catch you next time, folks. And I'll see you then. Dag Dag. Peace and quiet at last. Better take advantage of it while it's still there. And you want to go to sleep on the other side. Yep, that's your side of the bed. And I'll catch you next time, folks. And I'll see you then. Dag Dag.